Hey, Professor what are you up to? Reading all of the angry comments by gamers on social media. Why are gamers today so angry? Well, Chloe, most are complaining just to complain, but there are many who have legitimate reasons to be angry. What could they possibly be angry about? That is a very good question Chloe, it is a problem with a number of causes. Sounds complicated. Not really once you understand what the problem is. Okay, I'm intrigued. What has gamers so mad these days? Glad you asked, let's go to the ship of understanding. When you do things you certainly don't do them small, professor. That's why they call me the professor. Okay, so you were going to explain why gamers were so angry. Yes, as I said it's a problem with a number of causes. Sadly, the situation is of our own making. What do you mean, professor? To sum it all up, Chloe, we as gamers allowed the gaming industry to fall into the state it's currently in. You have annual franchises which don't really offer much in the way of innovation and variety of gameplay. You also have the same companies releasing games that are complete enough to be playable, but lack replayability. Wait. Aren't these games also selling in the millions and making the game companies a lot of money? Yes, they are, and there is a reason for this. Okay, Professor, what is the reason? We've become complacent. As consumers we place too much trust into companies that are more concerned with the bottom line than with actually making games that are truly interesting and innovative. But, aren't those companies in business to make money? Fundamentally, you are correct. However, it is how they make money that is in question. There was a time when game developers put their soul into what they made. You could tell what you were playing was a labor of love, because the people making the games were also gamers themselves who loved what they were doing and made the kinds of games they wanted to play. Isn't that still the case today? With some companies, but it isn't the case with the biggest corporate game studios. Companies that started out as the kind I just spoke of. They hired executives from outside of the gaming industry. They also made initial public stock offerings and now answer to shareholders. Not really understanding the industry they now found themselves in, these executives turned to focus groups, who in turn also didn't understand the gaming industry. According to them games with such and such tropes sold very well. However they had no understanding as to why. The executives decided to double down on these tropes. So, you're telling me nobody stood up to tell them they were going in the wrong direction? It's entirely possible that the developers tried to explain this was a bad strategy. Yet, the problem you described only got worse. What went wrong? Those who didn't tow the company line were likely let go. This happens often in companies where the focus is on making as much money as possible at the expense of producing a quality product. The best most recent example is what happened with Hideo Kojima at Konami. So, you're saying nobody could have stopped this? We the consumers could have stopped it. As consumers we have the power to steer the market with our buying habits, but we didn't meet our responsibility. We continued to buy games that over time became less innovative and more derivative. Professor, why did we do that? Simple, we let ourselves be conditioned to think this was the norm. We were dazzled by flashy advertising, and mesmerized by games that were becoming more and more like Hollywood movies. But, doesn't that make them more entertaining? Flash at the expense of substance is not a good thing. Haven't you ever been to a Michael Bay movie? I get your point. In addition to this, you also have the same companies releasing games with just enough content to be playable, yet still charge a full retail price. They then turn around and offer high-priced DLC and season passes that add to the game content which should have been in the game at launch. And, they get away with this. Yes, and again it's our fault. As I said, as consumers we have the power to steer the market, not the companies. We yell and complain in online forums and social media but don't actually do anything to make real change happen. But, they're big companies, what can we possibly do? The great fallacy is that we as individuals are powerless. That it's the companies that decide the direction of the market. That isn't the case. Without revenue from us they couldn't make any games. This is the truth they don't want us to remember. So, Professor. 
What can we as consumers do to effect real change in the gaming industry? First, we have to be willing to change our buying habits. We have the means to send a powerful message to the big impersonal corporations, and that is done using our wallets. It is a message they can't ignore. It is louder than the most vocal complaints in social media. That's asking a lot. This is true, but we need the courage and self-control to do what needs to be done to effect actual change. To do otherwise is to let the status quo continue. Gamers will continue to complain thinking it will somehow make things better. Albert Einstein once said that insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. In other words, Professor, complaining about the state of the gaming industry without the willingness to actually do something to change it is madness. Exactly. Do you think we made a difference? Don't really know. I prefer to think that we made some people think about their buying habits, and that we got through to a few of them at least. I still can't believe we let things get this bad, and that we allowed ourselves to be conditioned to think it was okay. That it is just the way things were and we can't do anything about it. The big secret is, we can do something about it. But, it requires us to have the courage and self-control to make it happen. What more can people do? Well, they can like, favorite, and subscribe. That would help us a lot. And also share this video with others on social media like Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. I think they should also check out Gamers Bay on Google+. It is a friendly, safe, drama-free community for gamers run by gamers. They should also check out the Gamers Video Archive, their sister community dedicated to Let's Play videos and walkthroughs. Well, I'm Chloe the Lolita Goth Gamer Girl. And, I'm the Professor. See you all next time.